this video explains how to connect to server from institute and how to access the tools so when you are connecting to the institute network from uh, to the server from institute network uh, you don't need vpn access there's a wi-fi by name srini wi-fi to this you need to connect uh, now if you face any issue connecting to srini wi-fi there could be issue with the router you may have to restart the router but otherwise what all the what softwares are required let us see so you require basically one putty software one vnc viewer software and now these softwares will be provided as a google drive items I mean, we will share this over google drive or you can also download this from the google if you just go to google just search putty you'll get many links you go to here you can download the putty from here similarly to download real vnc just a real vnc viewer so you can download this real vnc viewer so whatever we are providing here these two are downloaded from the same source now once you do this what you have to do is you uh, otherwise you can download the vnc uh, folder that we are going to share as part of the course material uh, this will be shared to all the students uh, if you see between difference between vnc and vpn folder is vpn has a additional two files called as client bundle and the uh, crssl these are used for vpn connection whereas in vnc connection we are only going to share with you these two files so all you have to do is you just uh, click this putty it will invoke this application go to 10.0.0.1.9 so our uh, once you are connected to the srini wi-fi i mean most important thing for you when you are at institute is to connect to srini wi-fi if you connect to any other network other than srini wi-fi then you will require a vpn access so because of that you should connect to srini wi-fi now there are two options let us say the due to some reason wi-fi doesn't work then you can connect through the uh, cabled ethernet cable but most probably the issue should be with the uh, the wi-fi router so you may just have to restart the wi-fi you can ask the admin to restart the wi-fi uh, once you have done that, so you just have to type 10.0.0.19 and port number is 22. Just say open. So for every user, uh, there is a, for every student, there is a user ID, Unix user ID and Unix password will be provided. So Unix user ID and password will be provided. So, for example, I have a username by let's say this one. So, I have logged in. Now, how do I check that I have logged in? Who am I? If I search, it gives the name. Now, once you have done that, all you have to do is, I mean, you are connected to the session. You again go to this folder. Just click VNC viewer. So, say run. Okay. Before that, what you should do is here you should create VNC server geometry 1400 780. When I do this, it creates a VNC session for me, number 61. Now, if I see there is a folder called as temp x11 unix. When I do ls minus ltr, it shows me what all vnc sessions have been created so far so i can just search ls minus ltr grep this name i see that there are already i have used a session by number x40 so i really don't require x61 so i can remove that so x61 so now only session i have is x40 for example, there are some. There is a student by name Bimal. If I do ls minus ltr grep Bimal, he has created six VNCs, which is not required. Rather, he could only work with x45. So this should be avoided by the every student. I mean, uh, in these cases, a few times we will give 
intimation to the student that you can't you should not do it if student repeatedly does it their account will be suspended forever uh, now i know that i have x party so what i have to do is uh, you we have invoked this vnc viewer go to the run 10.0.0.19 colon 40 now it will invoke that session it says this option you you should click continue then it won't ask for username you just have to enter the password so this one if i log in i have to enter again the password this one now as earlier explained how to use the tool you just have to uh, i'll close this window i close this window I'll close this window I'll close this i'll open a new terminal you just have to say source first you have to move to t shell source home tools synopsis cshrc synopsis now i can use icc shell If this comes up means ICC is uh, you are able to invoke that tool. So to exit, you just click exit. So there is one. This is something uh, you need to remember. Anytime you are done with the VNC access and you are, you are shutting down the system, please ensure that you do the exit. Otherwise, what you are doing is without doing exit. If you click this and if you leave the session open like this, you are holding one license, which other student won't be able to use. Uh, given that we have limited licenses, please do not do this. Uh, as an institute, we'll track how much each, how many hours each student is using a tool. So if it, I mean, and it works on a fair users policy. Anytime we see that student is holding a licenses license for a longer time, I mean, what is longer time? One hour is not a longer time. Two hours is not a longer time. Let's say you hold a license for one day, two days, or even six, seven hours at a stretch that may cause issue to the other student to connect to the uh, may uh, may stop other student from using the tool in those cases we will disable the account for that student so please ensure that you don't hold the license for longer than what is really required for you so please ensure that you always do exit whenever you go right. so that is how you connect just to summarize so you need to when you when you are at the institute you should connect to Srini Wi-Fi either through the Wi-Fi or through a LAN cable uh, what are the softwares required for installation you only need to you require uh, putty and VNC viewer once you connect to the putty you need to remember that you should be connected to uh, the IP 10.0.0.19 once you connect to that you need to log in with the user id provided and uh, password provided to you so this will be shared as a mail id uh, shared over mail to you then once you are done you create a vnc session while creating vnc session you need to ensure that you don't create multiple vnc uh, sessions so as i said before if a student repeatedly does it for 10 times even after repeatedly telling them their account will be suspended. Uh, once you are done, I mean, this is how I check. Let's say I have X45, X50. So early, the first account that is created is what? X45. So I should only use X45. I should not create any other VNC server. So what I would do is, okay, this I would delete later. I hope uh, this gives you enough information how to connect to uh, server from Institute and how to access the tool while you are at Institute. Thank you.